my whole life, I solved problems. I was a prob I was problem solving, and it was always it was very easy for me. Problem solving has always been very easy for me. Um, I've enjoyed it. I used to do logic puzzles, the Mensa books, lateral thinking. Like they would tell you that the man was reading his paper and suddenly he was blinded and then you have to figure out what happened just by asking yes and no questions. And I like real life problem solving. And I think the reason I've been such an edgy bastard, which is how I thought of it earlier, edgy bastard, I think I have kind of been edgy bastard, is because now, I mean, I had a plan. I just, in my mind, it was so easy, you know? Oh, I'm going to go out to New York and be an actor. So I went to New York and then 9-11 hit. And I thought, well, okay. So I worked down, I worked down at Ground Zero and then for like four months, September, October to the end of the year. It's three months, yeah, about about three. Every weekend from six p Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night from six p.m. to six a.m. Twelve hour shifts, three twelve hour shifts, and they would just rotate. Different people coming during the day. Killed my social life. I didn't have a social life in New York City, not really. I saw Amanda and Mac and some friends. It, was, it killed my social life for those three months. Um, so I wasn't an acting, I, but I always knew, like, I'll go out to L.A. and buy a car, I'll be an actor, it'll be, it's so easy, then I'll be an actor, I'll have all this money, I won't have to worry about anything, I'll be acting, I'll be doing something I enjoy as a job, going through life with a plan. Then, something broke in my mind, from, I think, from being in a relationship with Amanda for eight and a half years and not communicating, it was just so intense. And it was like I was trying to solve a puzzle. And I finally solved it. Well, I, I just, I would always constantly, one night, I mean, I just realized I can't take anything she does personally. She's freaking out because her past experience. And I accepted that. So I stopped feeling responsible for it. And that was when my mind broke and, I, and everything started spinning out of control and like all these different angles and perceptions of all these other people. And the way they don't look at me, it's not me, it's them. They, people have issues. So then I started, I got on YouTube and I started talking about that. How other people have issues. Not to take it personally, these other people. And then I realized that it, they're all just mirroring my own issues. And it's all me. Then I realized it's not all me, but it's on the root of my experience. That's why 10 people will tell you 10 different things about a situation. Because everybody has a different perception. My perception is in me. These people have a perception. See, and then the wheels spin, and it's like, which one? Is it this one or this one? Or is it both? Oh, it's both. But I see this perspective. But I see this perspective. Oh, it's both. And my plans of being an actor suddenly just don't fit. There's too much. Now I feel like I'm on YouTube talking about this and it's so fucking, it's such a big deal that I'm trying to problem solve like the world's problems. And it's mildly effective, but I only have this limited perception of it. And to experience the world will greatly help me to problem solve. So I've been on edge because everything's been so real. I'm not playing a video game or doing a Mensa book or talking to my girlfriend. Those kind of problem solving things are, are great and people in life, that's what we do, but this is something different. Putting it up online for the public, problem solving yourself in public, if this is public, I guess what is public? Physically being around people or consciously being around people? It's a different, it's, it's the internet. It's not public, it's the internet. I 
have such an unsettled feeling right now. Like, loose ends everywhere. Everything's untied. Everything's frayed. And I wonder about shutting off, like I was thinking, so I could just go back and, like, like I got music on my computer that I, da that I downloaded. I said, well, one song. I have in the past downloaded music. The laws will be balanced. Perhaps I will not download music again. I don't know. That's another conversation completely, man. The, the music industry and, and wanting all this money. Like, freedom of information first. When you can control what gets... Who sees your art then you can charge absorbent amounts. But if you can't control it, then you can't charge for it. And you can't control the internet. Like, freedom of information first. Let creativity flow through humanity on all levels. Freely. Fuck. Forget about the fucking money. 